guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, another YouTuber had gotten on my Adobe Edition video, um, has a language issue, needs to know how to change it. Well, the short of this is you can't. Once it's installed, you're done. You're going to have to uninstall the program and select your language. So, I don't have Adobe Edition on this laptop right now, so we're going to throw it on here. Now, as soon as you launch the installer and get it to this point, it's going to ask you what language. You get a choice between English, United States, French, German, or Japanese. Okay, that's it. Now, if you have newer versions of Adobe Edition, they may have added more language choices in. But this is a really super old version. I really like it. It's very simplistic um, and very powerful even still yet today. So anyways, we're going to click OK next, and it's going to start its setup. And we're going to hit Next, and Next. Now, select the EULA language, okay. Uh, choose a language that you would prefer to view the end user license agreement. Now, this is where you get a lot of choices, all right. So we're going to take the default up top, which is US English, okay. Yeah, I've read. Yeah, not really, but you know. Okay, so we need a serial number. For this, you guys don't get to see this, so I'm blanking you out. And you guys are back. Alright, so click Next. Now in here you can have it either associate certain files or not, right? I go with the defaults and that's more than adequate enough, you know? So next, and install. So now it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna install our program. Now you will find with uh, Windows 10, you are going to get an error show up. Do not be concerned with the error. Installing Windows Media Format 9. Oh, hey. Uh, okay, so here's our error. Windows Media Technologies cannot run on Windows. Check for an update version of this app that runs on Windows. Compatibility Assistant. Okay. Now, at this point, we could check for updates. Might as well check and see if there is any. If there is, there is. If there isn't, well, I guess there isn't. Your app does not work with Windows 10. We block apps that could damage your PC or cause you to lose data. This sometimes includes apps worked with a previous version of Windows. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I tend to ignore this anyways, and I'll show you why. So finish, restart. Okay, um, yeah, I should be okay here. Alright, so now we're back up. Let's fire up Adobe Edition. Yes, yes, yes. That comes up every time. Love Windows 10, sometimes. So you can see the program still actually runs. You can still use the program. It's not a big deal. And then I like to do this, close all files, yes to all, and then I'll escape out of there, select no, go back in, fire up the program. Okay. So that's pretty much all there is to it. <coughs> so if you have a language issue, you're not going to be able to change it once you install the program. You will have to delete the program out or uninstall. Um, I checked all the menus up here for different choices. There is nothing here 
that's going to allow you to get in and alter that language. Okay, so you have to make sure that if you want things in a specific language, you do that at time of install, right? Because there's no change in it other than to uninstall and reinstall the program again, which is still, it's not a big deal. It's a pain in the neck, but it's not a big deal. But anyways, there you go. Um, so I still actually use this program. I have it installed on um, a little mini laptop of mine, a little netbook, because uh, that netbook has a purpose in life that it serves. And so does this laptop now that I got my gamer computer. And uh, so I do a lot of video editing on this laptop. I do some on my new gamer computer if I want some extra, you know, faster things done or something more powerful done. Uh, and then, of course, for the ultimate video editing experiences, I use my Mac for that. So, but uh, anyways, and it keeps me in touch all the time with running both PC and Mac anyways, um, regardless. And, um, you know, I have my gamer system specific for PC because of the kind of games that are out there. They may not necessarily uh, be platformed over to the Mac, and I don't feel like running Windows 10 on my Mac anymore just to have both OS's on one computer. I'd rather have two separate computers all together. And it saves a lot of hassle down the road, trust me. So anyway, there you go. That's what I got for you today. Uh, hopefully the guy who asked about this video got the information he needed. And um, if you were looking for the info, well, you got it too. So again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to, just, to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications when I upload new content. Till then, see you next time.